four-step method for problem solving. How do we solve a word problem using calculus? Word problems are a challenge to every mathematics student in any mathematics course. The reason why they are challenging is that each problem is unique. The good news is that a general approach can be used regardless of what course you are taking. The only thing that changes is what mathematical tools are at your disposal. Here we see a four-step approach. Step 1. Read the problem twice. The first read-through is merely for informative purposes. What type of problem is it? Next read-through is for specifics. Write down any detailed information that is presented. Identify what is being asked for. Step 2. Create a diagram or picture if possible. Step 3. Write and solve an equation or identify the necessary formula for solving the problem. Step 4. Check your answer and rephrase it in a meaningful manner. Here is an example of utilizing this approach. The problem is to find the area under the function f of x equals 2x plus 3 from x equals 1 to x equals 3. Step 1. We identify what type of problem it is. This is an area calculation. The function involved is f of x equals 2x plus 3, the lower limit is x equals 1, and the upper limit is x equals 3. Step 2. We create a diagram. We graph the function and shade the desired area. Step 3. We identify the appropriate formula. For this problem, the area formula is a equals the integral from a to b of f of x. We adapt the formula. For our problem, we have the integral from 1 to 3 of 2x plus 3. And then we solve the integral. The integral from 1 to 3 of 2x plus 3 is equal to x squared plus 3x, that's the antiderivative, as x goes from 3 down to 1, which gives us an answer of 14. Step 4. We check the answer. In this case, the area is a trapezoid. Using the area of the trapezoid formula, which is 1 half times h times base 1 plus base 2, we get 1 half times 2 times 5 plus 9, which gives 14. Note that this agrees with the earlier answer.